Burp. Do not worry dear. DX Dog is here. I can teach you calculus. Lesson 1, Limits. A limit is defined as the y value that a function approaches as x approaches a number, not the actual value at that point. It is written as this. And it is said as this. The limit as x approaches a number c from the right. The limit as x approaches a number c from the left. Or the limit as x approaches a number c. We'll look at some examples. What is the limit as x approaches 5? First, find the limit from the left. It's 4. Now find the limit from the right. It's 4. If the limit from the left and the limit from the right are equal, which they are, then the limit as x approaches 5 is 4. Let's spice it up a bit. This one has a removable discontinuity, but it is still solved the same way. Do not get confused. The y value at x equals 5 is 3, but the limit is 4. Let's try another example. The limit from the left is 4. The limit from the right is 7. Uh-oh. They aren't equal. If the limit from the left and the limit from the right are not equal, then the limit as x approaches 5 does not exist, or DNE for short. Good job. Let's move on to the next lesson. Lesson 2, Power Rule. We have two functions, 2x and 5x cubed. When we take the first derivative of 2x it will equal 2. For 5x cubed, it will equal 15x squared. How did we get the you ask? We use the power rule. It's super easy. For any function with a coefficient, n, and a variable to the power c, the first derivative will equal the coefficient, n, multiplied by c. The power of the variable will be subtracted by 1. Let's see how this applies to the function 2x. The coefficient is 2 and the exponent, or power, is 1. It's just invisible. To get the derivative, we multiply the coefficient 2 by the exponent 1. When we subtract 1 from 1, the exponent for the variable becomes 0. That is how we get 2 for the derivative. Let's try another one. What is the coefficient? Good job. It's 5. What is the exponent? Fantastic. It's 3. To get the derivative, we multiply the coefficient 5 by the exponent 3. When we subtract 1 from 3, the exponent for the variable becomes 2. That is how we get 15x squared for the derivative. You are so smart. Great job. My job is done here. Here is your diploma. You will go places with this.